Hello. Today I'm going to talk about restrictive cardiomyopathy. So what is the restrictive cardiomyopathy? The restrictive cardiomyopathy is a condi condition of abnormal diastolic function with no more than the core cavity size and relatively preserved systolic function. So it means abnormal diastolic function with no more than the core cavity size and with preserved systolic function. So when we found like this, it is the restrictive cardiomyopathy. So what are the etiology? First is non-infiltrative condition, including idiopathic familia, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, scleroderma, and diabetic cardiomyopathy. Infiltrated conditions such as amyloidosis, sarcoidosis, and glycogen storage disease. Myocardial disease such as hyper-eosinophilic syndrome, carcinoid drug infection, and radiation. In the image, gene study, we usually start with a ego, echocardiography, the, which may so increase life when the cover sickness, increase feeling pressure or restrictive feeling pattern on power wave to plan of mitral valve. But if it be used only echocardiography, it is not enough for uh, finding or evaluating the specific etiology. If in radiography, we can find condition related to the congestive heart failure without significant cardiomegaly. So we can find pulmonary virus, congestion, pleural fusion, and may demonstrate by atrial enlargement. The MRI is the most comprehensive image modality for assessment of cardiomyopathy. It is usually used for defining for the etiology of the, the disease. The pattern of late gadolinium enhanced can be diagnosed for specific etiology of the restrictive cardiomyopathy. And CT can accurately pick and quantify ventricular, ventricular and arterial cavity size as well as ventricular wall sickness, useful when evaluating for concomitant coronary artery disease. It is alternative to MRI when it is contraindicated. Diagnostic checklist. If echographic suggestive restrictive cardiomyopathy, consider cardiac MR to evaluate for specific etiology which can have implication for treatment. First image is a echography 
four chamber echogram. So B ventricular sickening, B atria enlargement, and preserve systolic function consistent with restrictive cardiomyopathy. A power wave spectral Doppler ultrasound at the level of mitral annulus in the same patient confirm a restrictive filling pattern with a prominent E wave and a reduced A wave. Cardiac outlaw was performed for further evaluation. So here it is. Sought accepted for inverse recovery arm um, in a patient with proven cardiac sarcoidosis. So increased signal intensity at the anterior and subtal segment. Indicate of edema. Also note the mild sickening of the myocardium in those segments. This is a short axis delay enhancement MO in the same patient. So the patchy meat ball late collodinium enhanced in the anterior and inferior subtal segment suggestive of myocardial fibrosis. The four chamber echogram. So increase. B ventricular, ventricular wall sickness with a speckle pattern suggestive of amyloidosis, which should be considered in the differential or restrictive cardiomyopathy. This is a four chamber signs um, all in the same patient, so increased B ventricular wall sickness and B. Atrial enlargement consistent with restricted cardiomyopathy. Note the increase atrial wall and in the atrial septal sickness, which can be seen with amyloidosis. It is a short axis sign and also increased B ventricular, ventricular wall sickness with reserve citric function. The image is short axis, late collodinium enhanced arm um, off, so a diffuse pattern of late collodinium enhancement involving a septum inferior lateral wall and anterior lateral papillary muscle as far well as the free wall of the right ventricle. In the setting of B ventricular increase in wall sickness, this extends of late collodinium enhancement into consistent with amyloidosis. In this patient, a right ventricular endomyocardial biopsy confirmed cardiac amyloidosis. It's four chamber. Um, also, to blood left and right when the COVID B atrial enlargement in a patient presenting with heart failure. This is a axial cardiac CT, so severe right atrial enlargement in a sarcoinduced restrictive cardiomyopathy patient. Not the right and left when the cause apical of veteran and endocardial classification. This is long as it's steady state free precision. I'm also cardiomegaly and B atria prominent in a patient with restrictive cardiomyopathy due to sarcoidosis. This is a Axial steady state free precision. Um, also an enlarged right atrium, be bilateral for and a small peregrine fusion in a 
39 years old, patient with the restrictive cardiomyopathy. This is for chamber coronary CTA, so mark by B, arterial enlargement in a 47 years old patient with restrictive cardiomyopathy due to hemochromatosis. This is four chamber steady state three precession sign um, all in a three years old boy V glycogen storage disease. So the light teeth atrium and right atrium. This is a pick of four chamber DTI so cardiomically and B arterial enlargement in a patient with amyloids. So when we find a case of restrictive cardiomyopathy, so what is the main treatment for it? To improve symptom by lowering Elevated feeling pressure without significant reducing cardiac output, we can use the diuretic and nitrate for preload reduction, beta blocker and or calcium channel blocker may improve your sleep function and reduce afterload in case of concomitant hypertension. Medical treatment of underlying systemic disorder, immune modulating therapy for sarcoidosis, chemotherapy and stem cell transplant for amyloidosis, phlebotomy and halation therapy for hemochromatosis, pacemaker for high grade atrioventricular block or sick sinus syndrome is associated with atrial fibrillation. Implantable cardioventricular defibrillation, defibrillator for secondary prevention in patients with sustained ventricular arrhythmia. Cardiac transplantation in medical refractory cases. So, what are the top of differences in the top? Uh, two, there are two. Is first one is constructive pericarditis, and the second is hypertensive heart disease. Constructive pericarditis, ventricular interdependence demonstrated in real time sign image of septum. Pericardial signaling more than four millimeter may be seen. Pericardial adhesion via myocardial taking on home Take line band but do not break, which is indicate of original epicardial pericardial adhesion. The image so the same page. Uh, so a significant increase in peripheral sickness measuring up to 9 mm taken together with tubular ventricle and V atrial enlargement is finding are consistent with constructive pericarditis which should be considered in the different for constructive cardiomyopathy. The real time sign of obtain during early inspiration, so inversion of symptom which has a normal configuration on expression. This variation of subtle morphology on MR confirm a saturated ventricular interdependent and constructive physiology is associated with VR. Atrial enlargement. The lateral radiograph in patient with sorry of the pericarditis, so extensive pericardial calcification. 
Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is usually related to genetic disease with heterogeneous phenotypical expression. So, a symmetric subtle sickening is the most common type. Patchy laid collagenium enhanced at the hypertrophic. By six months and arrive in the coincision size. The image. So it is a short axis size among in and just so so asymmetric increase anterior subtal wall sickness consistent with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy with up. Uh, subtle hypertrophy. The long axis para subtle echography. So, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy with severe wall sickness and systolic cavity obliteration. Note the same of the anterior mitral left leg. Hypertensive heart disease is a concentric T is concentric left ventricular hypertrophy in setting of hypertension, minimal to no late collagenium enhancement can be associated with elevated feeling pressure and just like dysfunction. It's a schematic to explain a, a kind of left when they call hypertrophy. And the first type is most common indicate for the uh, So the most reprint is from static and the second is from the cardioserve. 